Tene Zoga, and again, uh, this uh, the creation stage, uh, the or creation stage, or, or the visualization stage. That is generally many explaining or the teaching that emphasizing all this visualization or the creation stage. That means to bring the vividly nature of this appearing aspect of the nature, kind of mainly that explaining that. So appearing, all this appearance or the perception, the conceptions, all this is originally enlightened status. And to see that as it is, explaining that mainly this focus, therefore, is known as the creation stages. It doesn't mean that it don't have the complex stages. It doesn't mean it has the great complex stage, such as Dzogchen teachings, but it's only just mainly focus, focus that. And then such as a completion stage of Anu Yoga teaching, it is also means there is two different uh, completion stages, as you know, the characterized completion stages, and then non-characterized the completion stages, or the completion stage could be characterized that mainly deals with the major physical structure of the of the inner in kind of system of the nature, so where things are the channels, the winds, and, and as well as their movements, and that is as a kind of the nature explaining exactly as it is in revealing that it is authentic nature, nature, and that which explaining very thoroughly, detailedly, and that is known as the completion stage of the characterized. Uh, raised. And then complex stage without characterize is beyond the conception, beyond the mind as Zoki teachings. So this Anu Yoga teaching also does not mean that I don't have the, any visualization or the teachings of the Anu Maha Yoga teachings as well as Ati Yoga teaching. It has all that, but it more that we more focus at on the teachings of the specifically the inner structure of the Vajra body and it to revealing it is innate nature as it is. And then Dzogchen teaching, which is a, such as the Simde teaching, Simde teaching also contains the Mahayoga teaching and as well as Anu Yoga teaching, but the Dzogchen teaching more focused to the then the self born awareness wisdom or the self born primordial wisdom that is more kind of focused on that. And then all the others are coming to, on the, as a side, part of the side. Therefore, then Dzogchen is often 
known as the, the dhyana, that which is beyond the mind, because the self born primordial wisdom is the origin of nature, that which is beyond the conception, beyond the duality, beyond, the, beyond the any kind of like idea and thought, for that reason, then this is often say that is not really the yana, it is the Buddhahood, it is the origin of Western status, so therefore often say it is beyond the yana, beyond the any character states, so that's what it said. But however, it also did not mean that all the other teachings are not contained. Within the Dzogchen teaching, all the teachings are, are there, and that is generally not just only three, that's two inner tantras such as Mahayoga, Anuyoga, but Dzogchen teaching contains the, all other yana teachings that start from the Hinayana, or such as Hyarvakayana, Partikbodhayana, and Bodhisattvayanas, and as well as three outer tantras such as Kriya, Oba, Yoga. So all those tantra kind of merges, fills then the ultimate state of true nature, because all those teachings are the teachings of the true nature, teachings that will discover this inner nature and bring the Buddhahood. Therefore, the direction and the system and the nature that all teaching agree to the one single state, which is beyond the duality, beyond the conception, beyond the, like any like con conception or the emotion. That is the teaching agree, and therefore Dzogchen teaching is the ultimate teaching, therefore all teaching falls within this single state. Sono in the Yadam Jazakoi ni Domni ni Bedana Ipamzeti, Chegai Nanji Abalong Trukwa Yazabam Sole, Drovara 